today we are gonna go check out Long Beach, California. Lately, I seem to keep finding all kinds of different vintage 1970s owl things, but this is the very first time I have ever seen an owl phone. This thing is fantastic and I'm going to be grabbing this. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win this amazing phone. I follow Goods on Orange on Instagram and they have the best curated selection of vintage here. And one of the reasons I love them so much is that they are all female owned and I love to support that. I can spot Oregon Myrtle Wood from a mile away. I am always drawn to these pieces. This is really unique because it's a mushroom and this one was made out of Coos Bay, Oregon. And there's not one, but two of these. And I wanna know in the comments below, how many of you know what these are for? Any guesses? I'll show you at the end of the video. This is too funny because this morning when I saw that guy roller skating down the hill, I thought I need to find myself a pair of roller skates. These are not my size, but I'm absolutely gonna be keeping an eye out back home because I think I'm gonna pick up roller skating again. I was quite good back in my youth days. This is one of my favorite vintage bamboo plant stands and I've never seen two of them together. These are in really good condition. So somebody needs to come down here and get these right away. remember is when I found this exact same latch hook rug wall hanging in the Tri-Cities area on that road trip. That was such a fun trip. I'll link that in the description below in case you've missed it. If you are local and you're watching this video, when it comes out, there is another little vintage shop right next door to Goods on Orange. And the owner was saying that he only had a few more weeks left in that location. So here's just a few clips of this little store. If you are local, you might wanna come check it out because he said he was ready to make some deals. Next up, we're headed to a vintage store called 6th and Detroit. And I'm so excited to take you there today because I have been friends with Michelle, the shop owner on Instagram for years, probably since the very beginning of Instagram days. And I'm excited to show you her adorable little vintage store today. Michelle has the most wonderful taste and she has created such a beautiful shop here in Long Beach, California. One of the things that I love about her style is she's so in touch with what she loves and you can tell she's very passionate about her vintage store. I've always believed that the best vintage shops and the most successful vintage sellers are the ones who are truly passionate about what they do. 
and Michelle always has the items everyone's looking for in her shop. I've been seeing so many people looking for these marble bookends and she's got an awesome pair right here. Too funny, I found this exact same set in a chocolate brown on my Springfield, Ohio trip. I ended up giving them to my niece for her first apartment and she loves them. It is so fun to see Michelle's shop because I've been following her on Instagram for so long and she always gets the best vintage in the area. She is truly talented at curating a space with completely secondhand finds. Michelle is just the sweetest. I am so glad that I got to visit her today and that it all worked out. And we actually sat outside on her front little chairs and had probably about a 45 minute conversation, just catching up and talking about YouTube and what she's doing with her Airbnb staging and her shop. And it was just really fun on a beautiful day to sit out there and get caught up with her. I hope that you enjoyed getting to see Inside Sixth and Detroit. And now we're gonna head down to the Long Beach Pier to check out the beautiful beautiful sailboats. never seen the Long Beach Pier this dead before. This is magical. Another reason to come during the winter seasons. This is a really fun spot to bring your whole family. There's all kinds of different shops here with souvenirs and clothing. You've got chocolate stores. You've got apparently a scale for 25 cents. You can weigh yourself on the pier. I don't know why you'd want to do that. The Long Beach Pier is probably a little bit touristy, but hey, I am a tourist and I just love to go where the people are. Today it was a little bit weird because there was almost no one on the pier and I think that's the perk of coming off season. So I highly recommend if you're wanting to stay away from the crowds to come during the winter months because it's still sunny and warm and beautiful here and you can have a lot less people to be around. I personally thrive on the energy from large crowds and being around people, especially people on vacation. There's this special energy around people that are on vacation because everybody's typically pretty excited and happy and I kind of thrive in that environment and I love to people watch. So I was a little bit bummed that there weren't so many people but it was also kind of nice because you know it's nice to have a pier all to yourself too. So I highly recommend checking out the pier if you make a trip down here to Long Beach or up here depending on where you're coming from and now we're gonna go hit the vintage stores on 4th Street. So there's a little cluster of vintage shops here on 4th Street Street, and I've never been here before to this section of town so I'm kind of excited to see what kind of vintage stores there are and what kind of treasures we can find and I'm also gonna grab a snack because I'm really hungry
This entire street is filled with vintage stores. That is why they call it Retro Row. And it's so fun because you can just pop into one shop and then two doors down, there's another shop. I am in love with this basket. I'm not digging the red portion because it makes it feel a little Christmassy, but I love the handles because it kind of makes me think of Game of Thrones. It's only $20. If I was to buy it, I would probably paint the red a different color. These are some pretty fantastic Danish chairs. They've got $150 on each chair. What I love the most about these is actually the fabric. I think it works really well together. I have a thing for pine needle baskets. I'm not sure if it's because I live in the land of pine needles, but I think that they're really fun and it's such a creative way to use something so natural that's just right there ready to use. So far, the pricing here in Long Beach has not been too bad. It's always a little bit higher when you're in California or whenever you're in a larger popular touristy city. So taking that into consideration, I'm pretty surprised. I think that the pricing seems really fair. I'm here in sunny California and I am still finding all of the heavy wool items. They've got 226 on this, but I have actually seen these 1970s vests go for upwards of four to $500 before. This is kind of a fun store because it's a combination of new products, vintage products, a plant store, and the back half is a wine bar. I just got the cute little onesie for my new niece, but look, if you are local, it looks like you need to come on a Wednesday. There's about four or five of these shops all in a row, and so I think that there's two more left. So we're gonna go check out this one and then that one. Next up on my trip, I'm headed to Palm Springs. So I'm looking for something really fun and wild and 60s to wear to the Palm Springs vintage market. I'm very impressed with the clothing selection here in Long Beach, especially because I'm from Portland, Oregon, which is kind of world famous for having the best vintage. The selection in Long Beach is pretty impressive. If you have not heard of brass Tibetan singing bowls, you need to YouTube it and watch some videos because if you have ever suffered from anxiety or depression or you just like to meditate, I promise you, you need to check out these singing bowls. To me, there's almost nothing more calming than listening to that on YouTube while I meditate.
I stumbled upon this little Italian restaurant. And even though I wasn't gonna do a sit down dinner, I decided to go in and I ended up chatting with the owner, Megan, and she was amazing. She showed me their adorable little back patio. And then next time I come back to Long Beach, I am absolutely gonna be bringing Jesse here. Well, it's been a beautiful day. I just got the ring and the one little onesie for my new niece here on 4th Street. And I got myself a chicken shawarma. This thing is giant. So I am gonna have myself some lunch because it's four o'clock and I haven't eaten. And I will see you guys back at home and I'll show you my finds. Long Beach, California was amazing. I had such a great time and I'm so glad I got to take you guys on that adventure with me. It was really special to get to catch up with my friend Michelle and to meet all the girls at Goods On orange. I came home with a few treasures for myself, including this beautiful vintage ring. It's got these three beautiful black onyx stones. And what was unique about it was it had this dome shape to it. And I really like it because it's different than any of the other vintage rings that I own. And I've never come across it before. So that's typically how I know I want to keep something for myself. If I love it and I've never seen it before, I might not see it again. So this is going into my vintage ring collection. I'm super excited about my mushrooms. Leave it to me to find the one thing made in Oregon in the entire city of Long Beach. I will find it and I'm so happy that I have these because I love to entertain and now that our new house is pretty much finished and we're living here, it is time to start entertaining and having friends and family over. And my niece Maya is coming over to work on our first Friday sale that we are launching on Friday, March 4th at 3 p.m. Pacific time and we are going to go ahead and treat ourselves to a little charcuterie board. So I'm going to add some wood oil to these to brighten them up a bit. And then I will show you guys how we use them with our snacks. All right, this is what we are gonna use on the little wooden mushrooms. It is called Conrad's Wood Food Oil. It is made from plants, roots, herbs and seeds, and it is 100% natural and non-toxic. This is my favorite stuff. The only thing is you've got to let it dry for 24 hours before you use the item, and they recommend using this on your wood about twice a year. So we're gonna go ahead and coat these beauties right here, and then we're gonna let them dry, and then tomorrow we're gonna to make ourselves a charcuterie board. Pro tip, make sure you take this thing out. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't coming out and that it would be why. So now that we've got these all oiled up, we will let them sit for 24 hours and then we will come back tomorrow and we're gonna make our little charcuterie board. They are all ready to get our little toothpicks in them. And I'm gonna link this Conrad's wood food oil in the description below in case any of you guys wanna get it. I get mine off of Amazon and I think it's pretty reasonably priced because this lasts so long. All right, here's our mushrooms. They're so cute. And in case you don't wanna use a regular toothpick, I got you covered with the little mice cheese picks. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. Those are from my Oregon Coast trip that I did. And now we're just gonna eat some snacks and celebrate that we got all of this listed. <laughs> so this is the reality of the behind the scenes, although I did kind of organize them a little better to make it a little prettier. <laughs> but this is what it's like when you sell vintage out of your home and good job, Maya. Mm -hmm. We did it. So all of this amazingness and a whole lot more is coming to the first Friday sale on March 4th, 3 p.m. Pacific time, leftcoastrevivals.com. This is the tiniest glimpse of some of the jewelry I think we had, do we have 130 jewelry items? I know we had 200 total and I think we had like 65 vintage. So you guys, there's gonna be so much good vintage jewelry. And look at the little cute kitty. He's so cute. All right, and now we snack. <laughs> this has to be the coolest thing I found in a really long time. I have been told by a lot of the generation beneath me that people are craving connection in a different way than we are used to right now. And they've been telling me that landlines are coming back. Don't quote me on this. I don't know if it's true. It's just the rumors that I have been hearing. And I think a lot of the younger generation wants to disconnect a little bit and maybe not be quite so accessible. And I grew up in the 80s 
80s and 90s, so I know all about landline phones. I remember when three-way calling was a thing and when I would kick my siblings off of the phone so that I could get the call that I knew I was waiting for from a best friend or my cousin. But this guy is super cool. I think it's just different, it's unique. I've never seen one before and I'm probably never gonna see one again. Now, I don't have a landline and even though I love owls, I picked this up for you guys. I thought that this would be a really fun giveaway item. So if you are interested in winning this amazing landline owl phone, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed and comment below how much you love this owl. And I will pick a winner next week. And check the description below for the announcement date of the winner of this amazing owl. I wanna know what the coolest phone you've ever had is. I know there are so many different wild phones that they made back in the day. And I would love to hear your experience about what phones you had or your grandma had when you were growing up that you remember. Because one of the reasons that I love vintage so much is it brings back memories. So I would love to hear your favorite landline telephone memories in the comments below. Hello. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in Long Beach, California today. It was such a great day and I am just getting started. This trip to California was a two week long trip and I'm gonna take you guys to the Rose Bowl Flea Market, the Palm Springs Vintage Market, and we're even gonna do an entire thrift trip of the California Route 66. We'll call it the Route 66 Thrift Trip. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when these episodes drop. And I will see you in the next California Adventure soon. Who's there?